Welcome to episode four where I'm going to answer a viewer question. So Craig Al asked, if growing yeast in a starter is the main goal and we decant it the best we can before pitching, why can't we grow our yeast in a sugar and yeast nutrient solution instead of in dry malt extract? This is a good question and I've actually gotten variations of this many times over the years. So I thought I'd do a quick video to answer. There's two reasons actually. The first is simply cost. In the lab, we do grow yeast in simpler solutions. Uh, for example, YPD Media. To make YPD, what you do is you take a liter of water, you add to it 10 grams of yeast extract, 20 grams of peptone, and 10 grams of dextrose. And these provide the various nutrients, amino acids, and sugars that the yeast need to grow. But this media is fairly pricey and comes in around $9 a liter when everything's prepared. Compare that to a malt-based starter, again, looking at one liter. We do it with dry malt extract, we need just a little over 100 grams, uh, 134 grams of light malt extract, or if we're willing to do a mash, we need about 200 grams of two row malt. Regardless of which choice we pick, we're much, much cheaper to make malt based starters than it is to make YPD starter. And for that matter, these prices are actually a little on the high end because oftentimes we can get these things on sale or through a bulk buy. But the second reason actually has to do with yeast themselves. So yeast have a double layer on the outside that keeps pretty much everything out of the cell. So what that means is when they're in wort, all these different sugars that there are that the yeast want to eat have to be transported into the cell. And this transportation occurs through dedicated sugar transporters that cross these barriers of the yeast. So simple sugars like glucose and fructose go in through what's called the hexose transporter. And this is a transporter that can import lots of different simple sugars into the cells. Other fruit-based sugars like sucrose can be cleaved by enzymes the yeast secrete into simple sugars, and these are then imported into the cell. But when it comes to uh, malt sugars, such as maltose and maltotriose, there are dedicated transporters in the cell membrane that allow these sugars to get in. Now on the surface, this seems to suggest that we could just grow yeast in sugar solution and they should be fine. But there's a problem, and the problem is when yeast are exposed to large amounts of simple sugars, they actually turn off the genes for transporting maltose and maltotriose into the cell. Meaning if you grow yeast in a simple sugar starter and then throw them in beer wort, they're not going to be able to efficiently import those malt sugars. So this means we we'll, could potentially have delayed starts to fermentation, slow fermentation, increased off flavors, and most concerning is poor or incomplete attenuation. So I hope you found that video interesting and thank you for watching. And I'm always open to suggestions, so I'll see you next time.